welcome to the Dig Into English podcast, episode four. Have you got your popcorn ready? This is Ben Henschke, and in today's episode of the Dig Into English podcast, we're going to the movies. Before we get started, though, I have some good news. You can now subscribe to Dig Into English in iTunes. All you have to do is search for Dig Into English in the iTunes Store, or click the Listen with iTunes link on digintoenglish.com. If you do that, you can download each episode automatically. Convenient, right? Today, I'm going to introduce one of my favorite films. You might be surprised that it's one of my favorite films because. It's a romance film, you know. Even if guys like a romance film, they usually don't admit it. But in this case, I'm willing to make an exception. The movie is called Before Sunrise. Before Sunrise was released. It came out in cinemas in 1995. It tells the story of two twenty-somethings, two people in their twenties. Who meet on a train while they're travelling through Europe? Celine, a French student, is on her way back to Paris after visiting her grandmother in Budapest. Jesse, an American, is on his way to Vienna. They start chatting and feel a connection to each other. Eventually, the train stops in Vienna. Jesse says that he doesn't have enough money to pay for a hotel room. And that he has to catch an early plane in the morning to go back home. He was planning to walk around Vienna for the whole night while waiting for his plane. He says that Celine should get off the train with him in Vienna, so that they can get to know each other better. He says that they have nothing to lose. To have nothing to lose means that you should take a risk. Because even if things don't go well, nothing will be worse than it was before. Celine likes Jesse as well, so she agrees. For the rest of the movie, they walk around the city and discuss their views on life, love, and the future. Because they know that they probably won't see each other again, they're more open than usual. They. Discuss things that they wouldn't normally talk about with someone who they have just met. Of course, they fall in love, but they realize that it will be hard to see each other again. So they have to decide what to do next. And what do they do next? You don't think I'm going to tell you, do you? I'm not going to give you any spoilers. You'll have to watch the movie yourself. I can tell you though. That a sequel called Before Sunset was released in 2004. A sequel, spelt S E Q U E L, is the second or later film or book in a series. A sequel story continues from the previous film. Harry Potter had a lot of sequels. A third film, Before Midnight, will come out this year in 2013. For me, the setting of the movie—that's the place in which it was filmed—is one of the best parts of Before Sunrise. You could say that Vienna is the third star of the movie, along with Jesse and Celine. It's a beautiful city, which adds to the beauty of the film. The characters visit many landmarks—that's famous places—in Vienna, as well as a lot of Viennese cafes. If you visit Vienna now, you can even go on a before sunrise city tour. I'm in Vienna at the moment, so I've been able to visit some of the same places as Jesse and Celine. Unfortunately, I've discovered that if Jesse really didn't have much money, he wouldn't have been able to visit some of the cafes in the film. Coffees cost a fortune there. The film was a critical success. Which means that critics enjoyed the film. Critics are the people who review films for newspapers, television, the internet, and so on. You can say that you want to see a film because it has had good reviews. 
which means that critics have written positive things about it. It was also a commercial success because it earned back double its budget. Commercial is spelt C O M M E R C I A L, and a film's budget, which is spelt B U D G E T, is the amount of money it costs to make. Sometimes films can be a critical success and a commercial failure, or the other way around. Later, before Sunrise became a cult favorite, which means that it was very popular with a small group of people. Cult is spelled C U L T, and originally referred to a small religious group that other people thought was a bit crazy. Many films and TV shows become cult favorites after they're released on DVD, even though they weren't popular in cinemas or on television. You can also say that the film or TV show has a cult following. If you ask me, I think Before Sunrise deserves to be popular. Even though I don't normally like romance films, I find this film very honest and realistic. It seems like the characters are real people in a real situation. This is often not the case in romance movies. One critic even called Before Sunrise the best romance film of all time. So, are you convinced yet? Do you want to see the film now? If you like romance films, I recommend that you check out Before Sunrise. I'll post the trailer, which is a short video used to advertise a film, on this episode's page, www. Digintoenglish. dot com slash episode dash four. Even if you don't normally like romance films, you might be surprised. It's okay, guys. You don't have to tell anybody that you liked it. In case I said something that you didn't understand in this episode, you can find a free script with some extra explanations on the Dig Into English website. Well, I hope you liked our trip to the movies. Is your city one of the stars of a movie, like Vienna in Before Sunrise? I like watching movies from all over the world, so if you recommend any movies from your country, let me know in a comment. Soon, your city will probably be on the list of places that I want to visit. Until next time, I hope you're enjoying learning English. See you soon.